Hey flower friends, we are in the garden house today. It's a oh, toasty 40 degrees outside. What is it in here? Oh, 40 degrees in here too. But I was going to do a little bit of winter sewing, so I thought I'd take you along. I have two other posts on winter sewing, and I show you how I cut open these milk jugs. Milk jugs, water jugs, I leave a hinge and a handle, and then I've got them with some potting soil or seed starting mix. Um, I did an entire video and post uh, on the blog of comparing seed starting mix with the potting soil that I make or regular potting soil for winter sowing. And it's really interesting. You might want to look that up. I'll put the, the uh, link in the description box below and you can check that out but and make your decision on what you want to use okay i also have this is one of the salad mix containers i like these because you can really sew a lot in them and they don't take up a lot of space and the lid i've what got it over here it sits right on top and it um, keeps it moist inside until you need to take it off when it's spring and the plants are sprouting up. Today I was going to plant up a few things. I was going to do this Sutton's Apricot Foxglove. Um, that sounded really pretty and I thought that would work well. I'm not going to do it in the big one because it will work in one of these. Now what I'm doing here is after I put some um, soil in them I set it in the tray here and filled it with water so that they could absorb it from the bottom because seed starting mix can be very very dry if that's what you use and um, once you get your seeds in there you don't want to be pouring on the top once I get the seeds in here that's already pretty moist if it wasn't moist on top um, and the, some of them you leave uh, without covering with soil or uh, any of the mix and that um, they need the light uh oh this dumped out in there I was wondering why there was a big wad of stuff anyways um, and so you don't have any moisture you don't cover with vermiculite or anything here's the seeds so um, uh, I'm just gonna spread these in here but that way if you spray them with a spray bottle and you mist them and you get that soil damp it doesn't um, displace the seeds and that is going to be plenty in there I'm gonna put them back in this little envelope if I can I don't know why it dumped out in there. I'm just going to do it over the thing. So if I dump any, it'll go in there. There was more than enough. I really gave a good sprinkling on there. Now don't worry about um, them being close together, etc. They, you can very easily, they transplant easily when you need to pot them up once they start growing. And, and that's not a big deal. And it, Disturbing the roots does not hurt them, as long as you're not rough. Okay, so the those are in there, and I'm pretty sure the foxgloves need light to germinate. Let's, I'll read the package. Always read the package. It does help. Okay, sewing indoors. Um, keep to 60, 65. Keep moist. Uh, planting depth. Sprout time, 7 to 20 days. Well, this is for winter sewing. And these will not sprout until the outdoor temperatures start maintaining that 60 to 65 degrees or a little bit cooler because when the sun's hitting on here, um, it heats the inside of this and acts like a little greenhouse. And that's what's really neat about the transparent. These are not complete or translucent, I should say. These are not completely clear. And that's what you want with winter sewing things usually because when the sun hits on here, it can accentuate the sunlight and actually burn your plants inside if it's too direct, like if this was glass or um, something else more, more see-through. <clears throat> so that's why the milk jugs work very well for this. And um, I do use these containers, but these ones I usually keep here in the greenhouse and therefore they're never getting direct sunlight on them. I learned that from another person who starts seedlings and cuttings and everything for decades. And it made sense to me about the translucent rather than transparent and about the plants burning because when we went to the botanical gardens in San Francisco, they have the huge 
greenhouse that was built back way back when and it was made of glass and they had to spray paint all of the glass white because even in the San Francisco's mild mild cool climate the plants were burning because of the sun coming directly through and they needed to make it translucent not transparent so the same goes for your little plants tender plants the sun can be very very extreme so I've got the seeds in here and now I had pre-cut some duct tape now some people say to use packing tape because it's clear and the seedlings need sun well they're going to get plenty of sun they get plenty of light and this is going along the side and it will not block light worth beans now I have found that the duct tape actually adheres better longer so do what you want you can use the packing tape it may work well for you um, but over the years I have found the duct tape just works better for me okay I got that on there and you can see it all duct tape up sun's gonna come down through here so plenty of light it's kind of wet on the bottom and my paint pen now I'm gonna put on here Sutton's well I'm not I'm just gonna Fox glove Sutton's apricot Fox glove apricot I'm not gonna get too technical with it and this I will put into my garden journal which I should have brought it out here to share with you but I have made a garden planner journal that I have up on my website and you can print it out it's for purchase it's five dollars um, but I I made it for things that I would use a lot of these journals I've seen there were so many things that I wouldn't have used so that's why I decided to make my own and I shared it with everybody and I will be as I find things I need um, or good ideas I'm gonna add them to it so if you ever purchase it always check back and see if I've updated um, because I will I So not only am I going to write on the side or on the top here, I'm going to write down here on the tape just for double coverage, so to speak. Foxglove apricot. And this is a paint pen. Um, some people say the Sharpies wear off for them so that they uh, can't, don't know what is on it. A lot of times I will also put a tag inside of what this is um, but I've really not had any trouble with the all of the different ones coming off like I did even with the sharpie so but I just thought I'd try the paint pen since everybody recommended it so highly and we'll see how that works so this will um, as soon as the snow melts a little bit I have so much snow piled up everywhere that I don't really have anywhere to set these so they're going to be here in the greenhouse which is not heated it is not insulated it's more of a glorified cold frame and they'll do fine in here until I can put them out there. It's plenty moist. If I need to water these and how you tell, when it's warmer, there's condensation in here. It doesn't need water if there's condensation in here. Um, when it's warm and it's dry in there, it probably needs some water. And you can do like I did here. You just fill a tray full of water, you set it in it, let it soak it up for half an hour that's probably plenty and then take it out let it drain and it's good to go some people try to spray down in here whatever it's not a good idea um, because you'll displace seedlings you'll do whatever it's just too powerful um, so if it's not out in the weather where it will get rain gently dripping in here then set them in a container to let them bottom water okay so I'm gonna do one more Here's another one and I'm going to put a rag down because they're leaking out water because they've been sitting in water and I don't want it necessarily to go to the back. One of my paint rags, junk rags. Okay, with this one, I'm going to sew some pinstamen. Now, my rule of thumb for winter sewing is hardy winter annuals, something that it says that you could sew in fall for spring and winter. I mean spring and summer bloom um, 
that works very well for me. Things that I know out in my garden, like larkspur, delphinium, um, so many other things, the daisies, lots of those hardy annual perennials that come back each year for me by themselves out in the garden, um, rudbeckia, all of those are good candidates for winter sowing and will do great. I'm also going to do some lettuce um, because, uh, well, it's all buried under snow and I can get some started so I can put them in my containers up on my deck this, this uh, spring or, or, or late winter. So I'm just sprinkling the pinstamen seeds in here. This one is Dazzler Blend from Botanical Interests. And let me see if this one needs light to germinate. I do so many seeds, I don't keep track. Light aids, press seeds into soil surface. So I'm not gonna cover these, I'm just gonna press them. I use sometimes a jar just to firm them down in there. And then I'd kind of dust it off in case any seeds stuck to it, but. And that's plenty moist. I tape it up. Line it up so it tapes well. And you're good to go. So that's basically my little, I get out here and I'll do a couple a day or what have you. And then I'm good to go. Let's see. Most of you probably don't have as much snow on the ground as I do and can just put them right out in the garden. So this is Penstemon Dazzler. And I'll put it down here, Penstemon. Penstemon Dazzler. And again, I'll put this in my garden journal and it's a good place to keep it because I still got some in here, very few. I might direct sow some this spring out there in my garden to let them grow out that way. So I will find them a good spot in here and let them grow as you see. And then once, like I said, the snow goes down a little bit, I'll put them out there because I do run out of space in my garden house. I could give you a quick view around, but it's just packed with plants and things. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video of winter sowing and why I use these type of jugs rather than something that's clear. If I did sow in the clear containers, I would make sure that they would get some afternoon shade rather than direct sun because they will cook. That's just the nature of the beast. So I'll see you in the next video and tell me what do you like to winter sow in? There's so many options and people find different things work for them. So let me know what works for you and maybe I'll give it a whirl. I'll see you next time.